Well, it's unfortunate. I mean, for a supporter to decide to come and watch a class match and ended up in this situation. Uh, so we are not happy about it. But then we are only praying that uh, our brother will just come back to us. Fortunately for us, the rumours out there that uh, he's already gone, it's not true. His condition is very stable and uh, he's uh, responding to treatments. As you might have seen, they are taking him to uh, what they call spectra. They are going to do one or two scans and come back. So they will bring him back. So we are waiting to hear the final outcome from the doctors. But from the look of things, he's going to be better. You have to be disappointed. I mean, you don't expect a supporter to come to watch a club's match and ended up in this way. And we don't think uh, what happened is something that we should encourage them to continue doing. Fortunately for us, the original police commander, the two IC, after hearing the news, came here. And uh, the district commander was also here with us. They even uh, requested for one of the ambulances to take our brother to where they are going to uh, run the scan for him. So the commander has asked us to meet him at 10 o'clock tomorrow at his office. So we'll definitely come here from here, we'll go and see him. I mean, they need to investigate and come out for people to have confidence in them. We believe that they are there to protect lives and properties, but they are not there to, I mean, kill us. We are, we are Ghanaian nationals and we expect them to protect all of us. Uh, we knew they were trying to protect the referees. They are humans as we are also human beings and they cannot protect them in a special way and decide to treat some of us in the way they treated us. But it's too early for us to say anything after. We need to find out from the police and they have assured us that they are going to take serious investigation into this matter and come out with their findings.